everyone, welcome to our video tutorial for this button up cat scarf. So, hope you enjoy it. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hope to catch you soon. Thanks, bye. Okay, so for this project, you'll need some yarn. I'm using this one here in 80% acrylic, 20% wool yarn. You could use finer than this, you could use a little bit uh, heavier weight than this. Um, this would be around a four to five weight yarn. You, it, probably this pattern doesn't suit a super chunky yarn, but you could go down to pretty pretty fine fine yarn. Whatever you know, whatever you've got in your yarn stash, and it's a great scrap yarn project. You'll also need a crochet hook that corresponds to your yarn. Five millimeters is the one I'm going to use today. You'll need a button. Now I tend to go for the larger buttons just uh, to prevent them being any kind of choking hazard but also because you know I kind of like the way that the larger button looks. You can use any size button, uh, you can adjust the button hole to suit the size of your button. You'll need a darning needle to weave in your ends, a pair of scissors to snip your ends, and a tape measure to measure the circumference of your cat's neck. Okay, so to make this project, you'll need to know how to slip knot onto your hook, how to create a chain, how to half double crochet, half double crochet into the third loop of your chain, and I'll show you how to do that, how to half double crochet in the back loop only to create this textured ribbed effect, You'll need to know how to uh, single crochet and that will give you the, the border. You'll need to know how to create an invisible stitch to disguise the beginning and end of your project. I'll show you how to do that. And you'll need to know how to sew on a button and how to weave in your ends. So a beginner's project, simple, quick and uh, fun project. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started, slip knot onto your hook. Now, I'm going to offer you three different sizes today, but you can adapt it to sizes outside of these three different sizes. So, if your cat is a small, which means between 19 and 22 centimeter neck circumference, you will make a small, you'll chain 30 centimeters. If your cat is a medium sized cat from 23 centimeters up to about 26, 27 centimeter neck circumference, you'll chain 32 centimeters. If your cat is large, then you'll chain 34 centimeters and large is from about 27 centimeters up to about 30 centimeters. I'll put all those details in the description box below. If your cat is outside of those small, medium, large standard sizing, then you can just adjust the size of your chain, the length of your chain, to accommodate that. So for an extra small, you might chain 28 centimeters or smaller. For an extra large, you might chain 36 centimeters or longer. So you can adapt this entirely to your cat's neck circumference. So I'm gonna make the medium, like I said, so I'm gonna chain up to 32 centimeters. So you go ahead and do that and I'll meet you once we've reached the length we need. Okay, so I've done my chain there. So let's just check. Okay, so I've done my chain there. So I'll just check that I've got the length that I want. Yeah, pretty much exactly 32 centimeters. So now we're going to chain two just to create a turning chain and we're going to half double crochet in the third loop of the chain. So I call it the third loop, the other people call it different things, but I call it the third loop. So what I mean by that is that when you look at the front of your chain, you've got um, these V's, okay? So each chain has a V. When you turn the chain over onto the back, you've got these third loops. So we're going to work into these third loops. So locate the third chain from the hook, one, two, three, turn it over and we're going to insert a half double crochet into that third loop. And this chain is slightly wonky, so just take a moment to get my hook in there. There we go, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, so let's show you that again. So yarn over, 
Find that third loop in the back of your chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, all three. Okay, so you're going to do that all the way along your chain until you reach the end of row one. Just half double crochets in that third loop at the back of the chain. And I'll see you at the end of row one. Okay, so I'm just placing my last two half double crochets into that third loop in my chains. Okay, so that's row one done. So now we're going to chain two and turn. And we're going to create the buttonhole at the end of this row. So or it's actually at the beginning. So so at the end of this end of the scarf is what I mean to say. So yarn over and place your hook into both loops of that first stitch and pull through. Now you'll chain here the amount that you need for your buttonhole. So mine is quite wide so I think I'm going to need to chain at least three. So one, two and three. Now let's see if I then skip three and put a half double crochet in that fourth stitch is that going to be enough for my button? So you'll do the same sort of process for your size button and that's going to work for my button. So just to give you an idea, and it will vary for uh, each yarn and each, each project, each button, but my button is about three centimeters across. So I needed to chain three for that size button. And then, so you've, uh, you've placed your half double crochet into the, you know, the next stitch after you've skipped the amount you need to skip. And now we're going to move on to placing our half double crochets into the back loop only. Okay, so your again, your stitch has this V, and you're going to place your stitch into this back loop only. That's the loop that's furthest away from you. Okay, so yarn over and place your half double crochet into that back loop only. And what that will do is it'll give us this, this textured ribbed effect to our scarf. So keep on going all the way to the end of this row, placing your half double crochets into the back loop only. And in the last stitch, as we did in the first stitch, you'll place your um, stitch into both loops of your stitch. Okay, so that just gives us a little bit more um, structure at the sides, and uh, yeah, just like yeah, makes it the scarf sit better on the edges. So. At the first and last stitch, you place your hook through both loops, and in all the stitches in between, except for that one that was just on the edge of the buttonhole, you'll place your half double crochets into the back loop only. So keep going until the end of row two, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the end of my row two. So that's my second to last stitch and just a reminder to place your last stitch through both loops. Okay so once again we'll chain two and turn. So we're moving on to our third and final row of the main part of this scarf. So in that first stitch place your hook through both loops and then continue along as you did in row two placing your stitches into the back loop only. So keep moving along and I'll meet you once you get to the buttonhole. Okay, so I've just come along to my buttonhole now. I've just got one stitch before I get there. Oops, one stitch before I get there. And now you'll just, in your buttonhole chains, you'll just work into the chain as before. Well, actually not as before, but 
you'll just work into the each chain along your buttonhole and then you'll work through both loops of that last stitch and there you have created the main part of your scarf so what we're going to do from here is we're going to make a single crochet border so if you want more squared off edges then you'll place a second single crochet back into that last stitch okay and then you'll move down that first edge just placing evenly spaced single crochet so it'll probably be approximately one at the top of each row and there's no exact place to put them on this edge on these short edges so just do your best oops let's pull that out I've got a yarn split again so you'll probably place three moving along there and when you get to the corner actually that's not where I want to put it so if you put it in a place like a kind of a wrong place let's say you can sometimes get these really big holes so you might have to pull that out and find a place where you don't create that super large hole and that's just that's just the nature of of working down these these side edges down these short edges because there's not a stitch to put it put um put a, your needle into then it, your hook into then it's a little bit tricky to um to find exactly where to place your stitch so do your best there along those short edges now again if you're making a squared off edge you'll place two single crochets into that corner stitch if you want a more rounded edge you'll just place one okay i'm going to make more square edges so I've placed my two single crochets in the corner now you're at your tail end so you can start to work that in now which is what I'm going to do or you can just weave it in at the end so find your next stitch well actually you're on the chain edge here so it looks like a stitch but it's actually your chain so you're working into those other two loops of your of your chain so if you remember we worked into the third loop Sorry, my tail is getting in the way there. We worked into the third loop of your chain. So now you, it looks like you're working into a stitch, but you're actually just working into the other two loops of the chain. So I'll just keep working in my tail there. So go along and you'll do this all the way around the edges, remembering to place either one or two stitches in your corners, depending on the shape that you're making. And you'll do that all the way along. You'll do your short edge again. And then you'll come all the way back along. And I'll meet you when we get back to the starting point. So keep going. Just remember how many you're placing in the corners and uh, do that. And do your best on this short edge as you did on the other one. And I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay, just to come back quickly, I've worked uh, as much of my tail as I need to. Actually, I've worked probably more than I needed to, but I'm just going to snip off that excess, and then I will continue along with my work. Okay, I'm just coming up to the end of my fourth side. So just remember, if you're making those, those squared off corners, you make sure you place your second single crochet into that corner okay so now we're done what we're going to do to finish off is the invisible stitch so pull out a length of your yarn so no yarning over in this case just pull out the the loop and increase the size of the loop that was on your hook snip off the end and just keep that pulled a little bit tight now Take your darning needle and we're going to basically sew a stitch to finish this off nice and neatly so you won't be able to tell where your project ends. So find your first stitch that you made and insert your 
needle under both loops of that stitch pull it through so that's essentially creates one side of the stitch and then we're going to come back down through the center of the last stitch okay so just check which side you want your to be your front and which side you want to be the back I'm gonna make that one my back this one the front and so come down on the back side where you're going to weave in the rest of your yarn and you'll see that you've yeah basically sewn a stitch and then you'll weave the rest of your tail end into the back of your project and just go backwards and forwards a couple of times just to make that nice and secure in the back there So I'll finish off uh, weaving in that end and I'll see you soon to sew on the button. Okay, so I've got the main part of my scarf done there. So all that's left to do now is to sew on your button. So I'm going, what I'm going to do to sew on my button is I'm going to use a... Now this is perhaps particular to the yarn that I'm using, but you can either use thread to uh, sew on your button or you can use some of your yarn. And what I'm gonna do with this yarn is I'm gonna, it's, it's, a, it's a double strand yarn. Let me just cut off that end. It's a double strand yarn, so I'm gonna split the strands to give me some strands that are thin enough to sew on my button. So I just need to un unravel the strands from each other. Now, like I said, you can use any thread or either the same color as the yarn that you've got or you can, you know, be creative and add different colors. But if you can do this with your yarn or if your yarn's thin enough to be able to sew on your button, then you can just use your yarn. So I'll just make sure I've got enough there. And I'll just snip off that length. And I'm going to need a smaller needle than the one that I used to weave in my end. So I'm going to take that smaller needle. Still got quite a big eye though. I'm just gonna thread that through. And then I'll take my button, place it where I want it to be, at the base of my scarf, and it's just a matter of sewing on a button. So I'm just going to come up, leave a length of tail at the end there. So you can just sew on your button however you want to, you want to do it. I'm going to assume that you know how to sew a button. So just go ahead and make sure that it's nice and secure. Let's pull that through. So I'm going to finish doing this off camera and I'll come back and I'll show you how I finish off the ends in the back of the scarf. Okay so I'm just finishing off this button. It's getting a little bit tricky to feed through now as it gets a bit thicker but I've secured that button that button on there now what I do here is I tie a simple knot in the back between my two tails and if you're just using thread you can do the same thing and then I go back to my larger darning needle and I re-thread with both the tails. And then sew those tails or weave in those tails into the back of your project once again. And then you're, you're finished. So such a quick, simple, beginner-friendly scrap yarn project. You could probably get this done within an hour or so, or even less. So it's a 
a real fun simple project and weave that in snip off the ends and you're done so as usual I would love to see photos of your cat wearing his or her scarf I'll just tidy up those little fluffy bits Tiny up those little fluffy bits around the around the button. So as usual, I'd love to see photos of your cat wearing his or her button-up scarf. So please send those along to either email catventurous.community at gmail.com or you can tag us on social media, catventurous.com dot crochet so that's at catventurous dot crochet and uh, you can find us on other social media just check in the description box below where you can find us around the web and thanks very much for being here thanks for watching and hope to catch you soon bye hi everyone welcome to our video tutorial for <laughs> not today Melba. not today Are you okay baby you mad? You want to get down? Okay. Melba. Melba. Good girl. Thanks, baby. You're awesome.